Okay, in this video, I wanna uh, we're gonna go through Manscape. So Manscape is a public company. So they recently went from private to public company, and the reason why uh, we are looking at this to together is because I think it's interesting to see uh, the numbers that come out of e-commerce, basically. And so if like uh, you can see like what the big boys are doing, right? So in terms of like the margin analysis and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm an accounting dropout. I'll just let you know beforehand. So uh, if my former teachers will ever look at this, uh, please don't kill me. Okay, I'm not really good at accounting. Okay, I can just see the. Uh, income statement well that's all okay so basically uh manscape if you don't know who they are they're basically this company right here they sell if you uh, shave your uh down below there they, they sell to you basically okay so they only sell majority to men i think yeah i don't think they they position as selling to women just yet so there's an entirely new market that they haven't even tackled basically so if you see here investor relations you can go this to any public company but uh spec is a special purpose acquisition company i think uh, so they recently became public. So when you become public, your financials uh, basically become public as well, right? Okay, so yeah, let's let's zoom in on this. Okay, so basically, uh, this is Q4 2021, okay? So I just want to point you to something that was quite interesting to me. Okay, so if you see that revenue growth, right? Uh, obviously, every company is going to scale like this. It's going to be like 2x, 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 basically every quarter or every two quarters and stuff. Okay, so the revenue growth looks very impressive, especially here, which is 2020, especially because pandemic, right? So pandemic... um. Uh, at, at rates are going to be cheaper. So you're going to rise definitely. But I think something that's very, very concerning that I feel is that if you see this, this is uh, Q2 21 and Q3, Q4, right? So this is an estimate, for example. So uh, we all of us know iOS hit during Q2 2021, right? So in Q2 21, iOS happened and then cost of acquisition basically doubled overnight, for example. So if you see that growth rate is significantly decreasing um, compared to the previous quarters, for example. So obviously this could be some, um, how do I say this? Some concern for investors. Uh, but basically from e-commerce side and digital marketing side, I think it's quite a concern as well because if the biggest companies, for example, I don't feel like they are running out of people to sell to, right? You can sell this product to literally anybody. So if your revenue is decelerating so fast, so much, um, it's quite a big concern. Uh, just be, uh, be upfront about it, right? But the thing is, obviously that's good because they captured the wave and so that the, how do I say this? The, the growth curve, basically is increasing over time. And so this customer base is massive. Uh. The, they don't really have to acquire much more people to, um, yeah. Okay, so let's so go and see the financial statements here. So net sales for Q4 21 is 84. So increase of 71. Uh, international sales, so international is outside the US, is 51%. Okay, increase 51%. And US net sales increase 8.8%. Right, so there's clearly saturation in the US market. Right, Facebook ads not don't work as well. And then um, this... Um, how do you say this? You, you've basically hit everybody in the US already, right? Not everybody's going to buy your product. So marketplace net sales increased 42%, right? Gross profit um, is 37 So gross, gross means your cost to cost of product versus, sorry, uh, product price versus cost to fulfill, right? So that's 37 right? Compared to 36 So just a marginal improvement, right? From uh, compared to quarter four, uh, 2021, okay? Uh, net loss in the fourth quarter. So this is really interesting. So net loss means like how much money did the company actually burn? Right, so even though they made, they made like what two three hundred mil, three hundred mil top line, right? They're actually burning um, fifty two mil every single quarter. Uh, sorry, for this quarter alone, I think. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, um, yeah. So that's fourth quarter. Let's see the full year in twenty twenty one. I think this is interesting. So this twenty twenty one quarter two is iOS, right? So net sales three hundred mil, increased forty one percent. Okay, gross profit one hundred forty three. So you sell three hundred mil worth of products. Uh, your gross is one four three, so it's like what fifty percent around there, right? Gross, oh yeah, okay here we so so, so gross margin, forty eight percent, okay compared so gross margin actually decreased, so I think that's because the shipping fees increase and inflation stuff like that, right? So that's something to take note of. Oh, there we go, increased air freight and shipping costs, okay. So net loss is three, okay. So if I'm not wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. If there are any accountants watching this, um, so they made three hundred mil. And lost 300 mil. Does that make sense? I don't think so, right? Um, okay, so full year business objective. Okay, let's see. AOV first. Okay, so AOV. So excludes retail. So this is Facebook ads and everything else on um, direct to consumer, basically Shopify store. Marketplace could possibly be Amazon, Etsy, right? Excludes retail. Okay, so people online buy $45 AOV. Um, I think because, you know, this niche here is very, very broad. So you can't expect people to purchase $100 worth, for example, of like shaving cream, stuff like that, compared to $45. So it's actually decreasing. It's a bit interesting. Um, like, okay, higher proportion of orders from repeat customers. So there we go, right? So now they are more, they are less in, in, in an acquisition phase, more like just retention and just uh, profit stage, okay? And then active customers, 
which include customers that have made a purchase, were 2.4 mil. So uh, in the US, there are 300 million people, 150 mil are US, US uh, male people, right? So 2.4 mil. So actually, there's still a lot more people that could potentially buy uh, this product right here, right? Advertising as a, okay, so this is basically ad spend, right? So ad spend over your total sales is 34%. So they're doing, uh, what, a 3x, a 2.8x, 2.9x ROAS, right? So you're spending, is it what, 100 mil, I think? Is it so net net sales is total revenue if I'm not if I'm not wrong, right? So they they a uh, three hundred mil they spend over a hundred mil on ads I think, <laughs> okay I'm so sorry I'm, I flunked accounting, um based on current conditions da da da, okay so I think there's a picture here hopefully that we can okay there we go okay so I think this is much more um useful for you guys okay so you can see right okay twenty twenty two. Uh, okay, this is three months ended, which means every quarter. So this year ended, right? So this is entire year of 21. Okay, so let me zoom this in for you. Sorry. Okay, uh, okay, the sharing is blocking. Okay, so let's see. 300 mil top line, cost of sales. Uh, I would think this is like cost of product, right? So you actually, how much do you pay to fulfill the inventory and the order? So you got 143 mil, right? So you, sp you spent 260 mil on ads, I think. Okay, this this could be employees as well, but... You can see, so so they made 143. They spent 260. Uh, I don't know whether that's insane, but um, pro possibly because like they just want to ramp up as fast as possible so that they can go public and sell their shares. But uh, you know, I think this def this number definitely will increase uh, decrease over time. But going from 2020 to 21, right, and then you basically two x your ad spend. But you two x your ad spend, but the the revenue is plus additional what uh, additional 80 mil. So this is a bit concerning, right? Purely because you, you're, we're seeing that the diminishing returns on ad spend, basically. The ROAS is not as good. And then 157, uh, 453. So like, w where did this come from? <laughs> like, you're spending so much more money. Like, like what, what's happening here? Like, okay, possibly because you're going public. So you're hiring more people. That's that's a thing. Okay, so the entire company lost, I think, 315 mil, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, so it's not profitable. Okay, so... Yeah, ju just to show you, this is very interesting to me purely because if you see what the big boys are doing basically in the e-commerce space, okay, and you, in a sense, right, Manscaped, uh, how do I say this, uh, raise money. I'm pretty sure they raise money, right? Um, ex exploring options, uh, leading on how the company became, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, th I, I don't have any opinion on this. I'm just showing you numbers right here. But I think it's interesting for, for us to, to see this purely because um, it's interesting to see. Yeah, but th these are the real numbers that come out, right? But I think this is very concerning. Just just be upfront with you. Um, yeah, like your, basically your cost or your loss from operations, you basically balloon like almost, what, six times, which is a bit crazy. Um, yeah, but they, you know that nowadays, um, probably in the next two, three years, there'll be a lot of e-commerce companies that come on board and come public as well. And when they become public, uh, then we can see their numbers and see what they're actually operating on. But this is clearly not profitable. I think 315 is a massive number that, um, yeah. So um, I don't know where the money is coming from though. That's, that's the, the thing. Uh, someone in the comment section, let me know. But uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, see you soon.